Mahindra wants you to be sexy. That's the first car on the Inglo platform. We're going to talk about what's happening with two models that are coming out today. We'll start with this one. Now, with this whole new electric empire of vehicles, Mahindra may be late to the party, but it wants to really set the tone by going best in class. So design, well, that's subjective, but you can see that there's a lot of use of two tonality. There's a lot of sharp LED lighting. It's a very smart stance that the car has. It's a compact footprint overall, but yet in this compact footprint, because of the electric inglow architecture, you see a really short hood, very short overhang, huge wheels, and then maximizing the cabin space. Now we'll talk about space later, more than 200 millimeters of ground clearance, and that gives it this upright stance. At the rear, once again, really sharp LED lighting. You can see that uh, it's not a continuous sort of a band, but yet it gives you a very specific signature, which is very similar to the car, uh, to the headlamps up front on the car. Now, this badge is the infinity badge. It's uh, what symbolizes a sort of a, an unlimited feel on this car. Unlimit love, they say, and they also say unlimit all kinds of possibilities. Now, it's not BE, it's the B brand, so B sexy, which is why the B6E is the first model. Now, that means it's not going to be called the Mahindra B6E, it's just B6E. So there will be other models as well, of course. The nomenclature is quite new and it's something that Mahindra will sell to us in a more obvious way as a part of this new completely different line of vehicles which uses the Inglow architecture as the platform as I mentioned. Now there are two batteries, there's the 79 and the 59 kilowatt hour and range for the higher version will be well over 500. In fact, you know, in their testing they say they've managed to achieve well over 650 kilometers range but I have to tell you that even in the top cities of India, they say they've gone and tested this car in real world conditions and still managed an average of 490 to about 550 kilometers in those cities. The part that really gets my attention, Mahindra Engineering says all these cars are going to be five star crash ready, which means that even though the tests haven't been done, the internal assessment, internal testing and internal benchmarking points to that. What does that mean? It means that the front impact or the side impact takes into account the new absolutely slim battery that sits down there on that skateboard. Now, that battery has been tested extensively for heat and cold conditions. In fact, even a nail penetration test, and uh, they have tried to take it to very adverse climate conditions and done thousands and thousands of kilometers of testing. And so it says that that battery can withstand it all. So much so, that Mahindra says it's not a six year, not an eight year, not a 10 year warranty. They don't want to talk about warranty because it's a lifetime warranty on that battery. Imagine that. Now, you got a very cool interior design that kind of reflects what you're seeing out here, but we'll get to that in a second. There's also a whole lot of features that are coming new in a sense to the Mahindra family with this car that has to be talked about when it comes, of course, to the pricing. So first, let's take a look at the pricing for the B6E, then we'll go inside. So just under 19 lakhs, that's the starting price for the B6E, and that's pack one. Mahindra says there will be pack two and pack three, and I'll tell you what, this looks like pack three, I'm guessing, because it's fully packed. There's lots in here, and it looks pretty good in terms of first impressions. There's gonna be lots of that in this video. So. First impression, look at the way this gear stick has been styled. It's very futuristic, it's very cockpit-like. And Mahindra says that the whole idea was to feel like a fighter plane cockpit. So you see this area that kind of wraps the driver. It's got ambient lighting inside it. And look at this, the AC vents are actually further ahead than the ones for the passenger. So very incongruous design. You see that up here on the inside of uh, the dash top as well, with a big pit for the head-up display augmented reality head-up display, so that's pretty cool. Two massive screens that kind of define the overall space up front, instrument cluster and the touch screen, both 12.3 inch, so nice and big, and certainly something that will get a lot of attention. So will the steering wheel, it's a completely different design in terms of shape and in terms of some of the details that you're seeing on it, including this flat, very glossy screen-like quality with this B logo on it, lots of functionality, and I can see regen adjustment up here as well. 
start stop button a little dock for your key and uh, you've got a little rotary dial here let's just sort of control that screen if you don't want to just use the touch screen function now you do have apple carplay and android auto no surprise there lots of connectivity there's also alexa and then you have a whole new virtual assistant called maya so adrenox moves over and maya steps in so that's something that i can't wait to test in the real world you got a whole lot of displays up here completely new graphics as well which are new for Mahindra certainly and new for these new branded vehicles as well. So you can schedule your charging, you can see what sort of consumption you are getting and then you've also got ADAS on this car. So level two ADAS functionality, lots of ADAS functions. That's great to see. So Mahindra hasn't really held back. Like I said earlier, this is really about now proving its merit, even though it may be a late player in this space. Vision X is the new head-up display with the augmented reality, like I said. So you can adjust that to go full on with all the functions and all the information, or you can go minimalist and turn that off and get just the basics. There is plenty to discover here when it comes to that screen, and that's gonna be a whole other video. You've got lots to check out on the rear as well in terms of comfort and in terms of new design quirks. So surprising, first impression, pretty decent on room. Look at that headroom. It is not something you expect from the outside. Knee room and leg room looks pretty generous too. The design is a little bit radical and different and you've got uh, different kinds of plastics here. We'll have to wait and see how that looks in sunlight. The grab handles for opening the door are very unusual. They're sort of fabric and it says pull to open. That is very different, something you haven't quite seen. It has the B badge on it. And then you get a sense of space because of that roof as well. Drop down armrest, very different kind of fabric. And uh, you see that there's a mix of uh, this four leathery sort of vinyl kind of feel with a denim -y kind of a very rugged fabric that's new that's different and it's also incongruous i like that i like the way that's been done so full marks when it comes to the sense of space at the back and comfort of this seat seems pretty good that's the first impression anyway frosted metallic white paint and that huge logo up front that and plenty more that you see here are really signatures of the new XEV brand and the first model, the 9E. We'll have to get used to saying these names. I'll tell you what, it's got a lot of presence, this car. It looks big and it kind of gives you a little sense of that XUV 700 somewhere, doesn't it? I think maybe that's intentional. You see this element especially, the way that light travels down, it's very, very wide and very, very distinct as well. And I'll tell you, it's also gonna get a lot of attention for this unlimited sort of a feel that you have from these connected lights up front. It looks very different, and yet it's got a familiarity to it. Very robust and large looking, a lot of muscle with this sort of very nicely rising hood. You've got a 150 liter frunk in here, and that's like most cars in this space don't even have. Big wheels, nice pronounced wheel arches, a roof line that kind of starts to drop off over here because of course it's a coupe SUV, like so many others that are suddenly catching on this element of the car though is kind of stretched out a little bit so it looks different the stance is also something very specific because it's really nice and high and you see an ample ground clearance and you've got the inglow origin that's really being sort of touted in a way by mahindra at the rear again very sharp in terms of the led treatment for the lights and very proud badging that's nice and big again that badging can be inlit and that's an option says mahindra We'll have to wait and see how that looks. This one just has chrome, both up front and here. Both can be inlit. Now, this car comes again in three variants. The base version, that's pack one, will start at uh, just over 21 lakh rupees, 21.9 lakh rupees to be exact, X showroom. And we'll have two more packs above that. This one presumably is pack three, but here's the thing. While the higher packs will have the option of the 59 and 79 kilowatt hour battery, the base version will only have the 59 kilowatt hour battery, no surprise there. But on the top end, you will get a whole lot when it comes to range and when it comes to features. Let's look inside. Flashing patterns embedded into that huge panoramic glass roof. That and more are things you haven't seen, not just from Mahindra, but really in the market. Now, there's a lot that's going on here in terms of just styling. The whole effort is to be a little luxurious. I mean, if the B was more sort of bratty and more sporty and youthful, this one's trying to be a little more sleek and a little bit more sophisticated. So you see the soft touch dash, that's something completely new and different. And then glossier, 
more well-finished surfaces all around, round steering wheel, and yet it's got a little bit of a flat bottom feel, similar sort of glossy texture, and then again, similar buttons and an inlet quality. It's just very, very cool and classy looking by comparison. Even the palette is that much more sophisticated. Now, the big, big thing here that you can see, of course, that is completely new, especially for this space, a passenger screen, another 12.3 inch screen, this is only on the XC9e because, uh, well, they wanted to keep something different, I suppose. This is only on the Pack 3 version also, which is the car I'm in. The Harman Kardon sound system, Dolby Atmos, all of that, 16 speakers. You get everything here, including the ambient lighting that runs behind the screen and then down here. Lots of space and uh, very different, again, inlet gear handle as well. There is also the uh, points to be able to charge or connect your phone, though wireless connectivity is very much an option on this screen. The graphics, the virtual assistant, the connectivity, the ADAS, very similar to what we've shown you on the B6e. Now let's take a look at the back seat. The light palette really adds to the sense of space. So does that roof, of course. That's not surprising. Drop down armrest and look at this, the seat. Well, I have it nicely reclined all the way back. Under thigh support could have been better, but you know what? This is all first impressions. And you can see that there are different angles that you can get on this seat. So three positions, that's quite nice. Isofix and uh, crash capability we've already talked about. So safety is really not in question here with this car. You do have these optional screens, but you can also do BYOD, which is bring your own device. So it means that you can take your smartphone or your tablets and fix them onto the mounts here. And you can also mirror the content that's happening or streaming in the passenger screen. In fact, when the vehicle is stopped, all five screens can, uh, the three in the front and the two at the rear, can mirror the same content, which means everybody can enjoy the same movie, for example. There is a lot going on here when it comes to that connectivity, to the tech, and to this whole new suite of electronics and safety that Mahindra is bringing to the party. Can't wait to drive this one. Can't wait to see how the rear comfort really translates on the road. One quick mention here. There's a little bit of a space here, which shows you again, a charging point for your smartphone. That's a nice little touch and full flat floor, of course enhances that space yet again. Well, for the driver's side, the seat is adjustable and those controls on the door are pretty cool. The door panel here is pretty cool also. It also gives you this much needed screen, which I think a lot of people now start uh, to expect and like in our market. The finish and in terms of what you see here, the Harman Kardon speaker, it's different. It's got different textures and it also has that slightly soft touch kind of plastic. But the thing I want to quickly show you is that if you feel like this room isn't enough, well, the passenger that's sitting back there, they have their own little lever here to be able to manipulate and push this seat forward, creating tons of leg room on the left side. 